It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Morrison Supermarket and Oakham Ales. It's Morrison's The Best, brewed exclusively for Morrison's, 4.5% ABV, 500 millilitres of bottle, black bottle cap. I'm a big fan of Oakham Ales. Uh, they were the first company or first brewery in the UK to brew a beer with Citra hops way back in the day i mean i remember i remember the big fuss i remember the big excitement about you couldn't get it initially okamale citra it was quite a rare beer to get hold of now you get to see it in various supermarkets um it's not kind of it. It was something like ten years ago. This was happening, maybe even longer than ten years ago. But it it was um, it definitely put Oka Males on the map. It was one of those beers that put a brewery on the map. We have a two finger white head, good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. It's quite clear. Yeah, there's no, there's no sediment in here. It's not a kind of, it's a well filtered beer. It was around £1.60 per bottle in my local supermarket, Morrison supermarket. Let's get the aroma. Quite zesty, quite lemony. Quite spicy, quite peppery. Kind of hedgerow hops, kind of blueberry. But then grapefruit, lemon. There's lots going on here. There's lots going on. It's a, It's got that kind of really zesty nose to it. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Mmm, good. Really good. A beer that a beer that takes me back. This is something like a flying dog doggy style or a Sierra Nevada pale ale. It's American pale ale, Sierra Nevada. Did they invent the American pale ale? They were probably very close to inventing the American pale ale. I'm pretty sure they probably did. Um, or they were one of the first to produce American pale ale over there in Sierra Nevada in the desert of America. So what is American Pale Ale? I'll be very quick with this because probably 95% of the people watching know already. It's a style of beer, an American style of beer that is very drinkable, very refreshing, goes up to 6% ABV. From 6% to 8% it becomes IPA. From 8% to above becomes double IPA and then triple IPA, quad IPA, and it just keeps going on. The higher the ABV, the, the the more elaborate the name uh, for, for for that style of beer, but American Pale Ale comes in at between four and six percent ABV. It's very drinkable, very refreshing. Importantly, it has a really nice bitter bite of a finish, and this has that very important American Pale Ale. Very not very bitter. It's not overly bitter. It's manageable. I like it, 
but it has a nice bitter finish to it. It's very refreshing, very refreshing, very kind of clean, crisp. The malts are good. The malts make it really crisp and lovely. Nice lacing on the glass. Yeah, I can imagine Morrison selling an awful lot of this. I really do. Um, it, because it's their own beer, um, they probably brewed it to a slight kind of price point. So that £1.60 is kind of quite cheap for a beer of this quality this day and age. So I can imagine people putting this in their weekly shop. You know, you go around and you like your certain brands. I think that's what they're going for here. So you might like Walker's Chili Heat Waves, Doritos Chili Heat Waves. You bang a couple of bags in. You've got a certain loaf of bread that you might like. You bang that in. You know, your weekly shop. You like Heinz beans, you bang them in. Bird's eye, four pack of fish, you know, that sort of thing. So you go into the beer aisle, you know what you like, you bang four bottles of this in for a Friday night. You know what you're going to get, you like the beer, it's very consistent. You, you always know from a company like Oka Males that you're, you're going to get a very consistent level of beer. Yeah, and happy days, I suppose, isn't it? Happy days. Um... As a craft beer drinker, I like to try lots of different beers. And I've tried lots of different beers. And I will not stop learning and I will not stop having my eyes opened by different beers. But there's something else that I've learned over the last few years. And that is, I think it's quite important to find that kind of staple beer. The staple beer that you might have on a Sunday afternoon or you might as I do on a Monday, play snooker. Get into a little session with the same beer because you don't necessarily want to be thinking about beer all of the time. I used to do that. I used to do that. I used to be kind of even, even not seeing the point years ago of drinking the beer, the same beer over and over. If I went to a wedding party or if I went to a pub where they only had one pale ale. I'd be a bit moany and a bit, a bit, oh, I'm drinking this, I want to try something different. But you do change. The more you drink beer, the more you drink craft beer, the more you understand it. Uh, there's an initial excitement that you have with beer that, that you want to try a million different beers and you want to check in a million different beers on Untapped. But as with all things in life, that does kind of wane back a little bit. And then you set yourself down into a rhythm of, yes, I'm going to try a million different beers in the week. But when I go and play snooker on a Monday night, then I want to try something and drink something which I not. I want something solid, drinkable, refreshing, but I want to know it. I want to know it so I don't have to concentrate on it and I can get on with playing snooker. This is nicely balanced between the sweet crisp malt and the hoppy bitter finish. This, I don't think, this, no, there's not gonna be a great explanation here about this beer. Um, a collaboration between the award-winning Cambridgeshire Craft Brew Legends at Oakham Ales and Morrison's. The result is a classic American parallel bursting with citrus and tropical hop flavors. Yeah, it's good. It's good, it really is good, I like it. Uh, Morrison's in Bradford. Um, I'm, I'm looking, strangely, what I'd like to see, I suppose, is they've got contains barley, but I would probably just like on here hops, malt, yeast and water. That's what I'd like. But strangely, and I'm going to finish on this before I rate the beer, if you go to Germany, it's law to put your... your the ingredients on the back of the bottle. If you bought a food item in the UK, it's law to put down on the back of the food item what, what, what ingredients are in there. But strangely for, for, for beer and alcoholic drinks, you don't have to, which I find very odd, very odd. Anyway, American Pale Ale, part of the Morrison's best range. I like this. 
I like this. I can see me buying quite a bit of this in the week. It's a classic American pale ale. Nicely carbonated, nicely kind of sessionable strength of 4.5% ABV. Yeah, I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer, including value for money, that 160 a bottle I paid. Terrific value for money. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.